The latest unemployment numbers are out with some encouraging signs. Just 1.5 million Americans applied for benefits last week, according to the Labor Department. That's the lowest number of new claims in months. And Georgia's Labor Department processed just 150,000 claims last week. That's the fourth decline in the last five weeks. Well, Better Call Harry is used to hearing from people who have not received their unemployment benefits, but this time around, it's just the opposite. A Buford woman is trying to return thousands of dollars in benefits. As Harry explains, she's not alone. How much money? Just, I want, I don't want to lie, it's like, like $73.98, I think my total was. I mean, I can call this card. What is Karen Klett thinking? Her state unemployment debit card is loaded with cash. It's the kind of problem thousands of Georgians would love to have. Some people have gone 10 weeks without unemployment benefits. And here's a person who wants to give it back? Stop it. <laughs> Stop. So why is she turning down the money? We'll give you a hint. Karen is working full time and has been since the COVID crisis began. Hey, Sarah, how's your day? The reason Karen got the benefits is because it's not her only job. I have a part time job at um, what do we want to say? An entertainment venue as a manager on duty and it's my fun job. When Karen got furloughed from her fun job, her part time employer filed for everyone. For weeks, she's been trying to return the money but she can't get through. Your last deposit of $306. Karen and her husband, Terrell, are fortunate. They live in a nice neighborhood. They're both working. If the benefits were legit, they would donate it to charity, but that won't be necessary. What happens is if an employer has filed on your path and you're still working. We connected Karen with the Department of Labor, who says eventually it would have caught the mistake. All right, but assure her she's not going to jail. I don't want to go to jail. You are not going to jail. We're going to do everything we possibly can to keep you out of jail today. Okay, well, hey, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. I have a huge burden lifted. If you got a debit card like this one and you weren't supposed to, you have to give the money back. They say you can do a payment plan, but if you don't give the money back, you could end up going to jail. I'm Better Call Harry, CBS 46 News.